Hey everyone, and welcome to the Hopcast. Thanks for coming back, everybody. I'm Brad Chmielewski. My name is Ken Hunnameter. And every year around this time, we get around our Christmas tree. We do. Yeah, and we uh, have some beers normally. Santa comes. Yeah. Our old Tannenbaum. What? <laughs> old Tannenbaum. <laughs> the Christmas tree song. <laughs> But, okay. Are we singing it? Yeah, or? we're gonna sing it. No. Okay. But this it's Festivus today. Today is Festivus. It actually is December twenty third. Yeah. Uh so you found a poll. Yeah, I found a poll. We don't have a tree. Um and we actually don't have any beer, oh. which is kind of unfortunate. So we're just gonna wax poetic about the poll, I think. Just, well, we're gonna wax our poll. <laughs> wax poetic. <laughs> All right. <laughs> But, you know, these things happen sometimes. Times are tough. You run out of beer. What can I say? Whoa! Oh, my God! It's a Festivus miracle! Oh! Look! Growlers! Growlers from Peace! From Peace Brewery, right down the street! <laughs> oh. This is the, the memories of now. I have. And this is the Festivus. Oh! It's a Festivus miracle! <laughs> Wow, we dodged that bullet. This would have been a very sad episode without any beer. <laughs> Indeed. So th- we have, th- these are some really cool beers. I don't know if anyone's been reading about some of these coming out pretty soon. but um... So we know about the Festivus. This is a yearly release from Peace. Uh, mm-hmm. This is their, it's their holiday beer. It's a, mm-hmm. what, it, what's the style? Is it's it a, a dark Belgian. Dark Belgian. So little, not heavily spiced. It's just a... Uh, no, no. Uh, typically it's, I don't think it gets it's any spicing spicy. at all, it's just use that spicy phenolic character from the E strain okay. to provide some festivist cheer. And you were recently talking about this Memories, this Firestone Yeah, the Walker. Memories of Now, uh, Matt Brindelson from Firestone, who helped open Peace and design that brew system when they opened up, uh, came back and did a collaboration beer, so this is a, a pale ale uh, that, they, that him and Jonathan Cutler so did together. For like the new year, like Memories... Of the now. past. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, man, what should we start with then? Let's start with the the pale ale, and okay. then work our way up to a nice dessert beer. All right. Uh, cracking it open is weird now. <laughs> I'm twist I'm the top. Twist it and, open. But let's pour it out and see what it looks like. Cool. And usually we have like. A 12 ounce bottle or a can, 64 ounces of beer. That's gonna be a fun night. Yikes, all right. Well, that poured out beautiful. Yeah, and uh, keep in mind, Pizza's a brew pub and pizzeria in Chicago, so working on very uh, a limited system. It's a small brew system. It's very small in a very small space, mm-hmm. uh, but they've got this beer looking excellent. Yeah, almost crystal clear. Yeah. Little, Looking real good. Yeah, uh, a little like slight think, haze to it. Haze, slight like, haze, a little like almost amberness coming through a little bit. Yeah, but Just great looking beer. Highlights. Real nice rocky head that's yeah. uh, sticking around for the, the long haul. Ooh, and that smell—it's so familiar. <laughs> oh, that that smell—it smells like a Firestone Walker beer. Yeah, it's got a really nice, clean aroma on it. Just a, a a nice kind of like a tropical fruit character, which is very typical for some of the hops that Brindelson usually right. chooses. Yeah, but uh, Jonathan Cutler over there, he usually, they do have some IPAs, but they're not like tropical and fruity IPAs. They're usually like more bitter, grassy IPAs. Yeah, and, and Cutler is is no stranger to hops either. Like he does hoppy beers very well and yeah. everybody knows that Brindelson is pretty much hop king. So <laughs> uh, the, uh, the marriage of these two, man, you can, you can smell it already. It's fantastic. Well, cheers. <laughs> cheers. Woo. Yeah. <sighs> That's just like a good fucking beer. <laughs> okay. Like candy, sweet, uh, but also like, Incredibly refreshing. Yeah, it's got like a nice biscuit note that kind of washes the hops away and then that sets you up for the finish where it just finishes super dry. Yeah. It reminds me of a beer and when, I think earlier when I had this, uh, you know, earlier in the Festivus, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I remember tasting this beer and being like, that reminds me of a beer. Like uh, there's something so familiar about just the 
maybe it was the taste, maybe it was the aroma, but like I feel like I've had something close to this before. It kind of reminds me of that beer that Peace did with Three Floyd's uh, marketing ploy. I don't know if you remember that. Oh, okay. They won a medal for it a few years back at yeah. GABF, I think. Okay. But that was you know just a nice, easy drinking pale ale, and had really nice um, hop aroma and flavor, and then a cool little like toasty grain note okay. to, to back it up. So, so it reminds me of that. So Brendelson was here because of this beer. He, used, he helped design that brew pub, like the layout. Like he just yeah, and like put the system in. Like back when Peace was opening up, this was before I believe he went off to California. Okay. Um, was he just like it was like a contract thing or like why just you know goodwill? I, I don't. I'm I'm sure he got compensated for it, uh, but I don't know if he has stake in the restaurant at all or. I'm I'm really I don't know what the deal was, but okay. I I heard on a podcast somewhere that he helped uh, design the system and and open up that space. Oh, that's cool. Because Jonathan Cutler has been the brewmaster ever since we've really known yeah. about them. I'm pretty sure he's the one who started it out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost hard to think of someone else being a brewmaster there at mm-hmm. this point. Like that seems like a like they're doing a lot of different beers every now and then. They mm-hmm. usually have something unique on every time you go in there, but just being like it's got to be pretty not not cushy but like on autopilot for the most part like you're brewing golden arm and uh swing and single and top heavy like mm-hmm. pretty regular because they go through a ton of beer yeah it's a busy restaurant um they're they're known equally for their pizza and for their beer so if you're if you're from chicago you're well familiar with all this stuff but <laughs> if you're if you're coming into town make sure i mean it's a great spot to check out all right nice so being festivist what else goes down? You are the Seinfeld king here. Well, yeah. We would gather around the pole, right. and um, there's an airing of grievances. Okay. And then there's the feats of strength. Which is basically wrestling. Wrestle. All right, we're going to wrestle. <laughs> <laughs> so the airing of grievances. Just, uh, we just throw it out there? Yeah. What you got for me? Well, Ken... You're always pouring your beer first. <laughs> Every time you come to record, it's you first. <laughs> Fair enough. All right. Um, Brad. Damn, nothing. You're always uh, you're always dissing on my Bourbon County boxes, man. Oh. <laughs> Why do you get, throw me so much shade on those Bourbon County boxes? He has so many. <laughs> Box collect. <laughs> That's what I'm getting you for Festivus. Is Boxes? An em- empty Bourbon County rare box. <laughs> yeah. You'd be like the best box troll with Bourbon County boxes. <laughs> All right. Whew. Tough, tough grievances here. All right. Well, we have a lot of beer to drink. We do. And we need to, you know, get our will up. To wrestle. So, <laughs> should we finish this off and jump into the festival? Yeah, it's time, time for some festivus. We're all here for. All right. So while we were finishing that up, the pole almost went down. <laughs> I, I feel like this is a dangerous holiday. But it did not. Did Another it? festivus miracle! <laughs> So with Festivus, we have the beer that goes along with it. Yes, absolutely. Fest- I think uh, I have to go to Peace every year and have this beer. Like, mm-hmm. I don't know. It's just a ritual. I, I need, it's, it's here and gone within like three weeks, really. Yeah. Um, and Maeve and I actually used to live right down the street from Peace and we used to go there all the time. And I remember when they first started making this beer Okay. and being a huge Seinfeld fan, I thought it was amazing that they called their holiday beer Festivus. <laughs> Just amazing. So I've been a, been a huge fan uh, on principle ever since, but also the beer's damn delicious. It is good, yeah. So it's uh, different than your usual holiday beers that are spiced and nutmeg and all the peppermint peppermint and <laughs> pine tree is that can you put pine trees in i guess sure you, can. Yeah, you can do whatever the fuck you want yeah santa beards <laughs> <laughs> sampled yeast from all the santa beards around the country <laughs> oh shit uh, but yeah this is more of a more of a straight ahead um 
just I guess you would say Ryan Heights Gebot. Oh. I don't believe they're getting any any sort of spicing into this beer. It's just it's all just water, malt, hops, and yeast. Okay. Well, let's give it a pour and check it out. Let's do it. The beer is in our glass. It's a festivist miracle. Mm-hmm. Looks looks beautiful. Like yeah, quite dark, but has really a, a, a lot of see through action on the edges, especially the bottom of the glass there. Right, that amber like cherry colors coming mm-hmm. through. And you can see it's it's very clear once again. Yeah, if it wasn't <laughs> like a dark beer, you'd probably see, see right through. through it. Absolutely. Uh, so not really a big head, which I don't think you would see from the style of beer, really. Yeah, this is a pretty high alcohol. Beer, I'm assuming eight plus. Yeah. So, uh, not too much. Oh, but you get that, like, dark cherry, sweet syrupy kind of aroma. Rock sugar. Oh. Is the St. Bernardus, is that a Belgian strong as well? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. All right. I know uh, Nick White. Shut up! Shut up! He loves that beer. That's his favorite beer. That's a great beer. Uh, also, our friend Mike Siegel. Shut up! Shut up to Mike Siegel from Goose Island. Um, we actually we traveled to Belgium together. Okay. And every time he saw that beer, it was just like. You went dun, for dun, it. Dun. Yeah. There was a night in Amsterdam where he just like, we were done, and he was like, "I'm gonna go out and drink some more Saint Bernard." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Understandable. Yeah. And he found it at uh, in Louisville. We're on another trip at uh, Sergio's World of Beer. Shut up! Oh, sh- wait, is that shot to Sergio's World of Beer or Sergio? Sergio's World of Beer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and they had also, this was a double whammy for Mike Siegel, they had St. Bernardus 12 on tap, and Twin Peaks was playing on the TV, so he just like got himself blasted and stared at the TV for the next like two hours. I feel like that's a dangerous combination. It was. You just don't know what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> you're already confused by that show, and now you're drunk. On yes. St. Bernardus, you're like, I don't, I don't get it. <laughs> Damn. It was amazing. All right. Well, yeah, this smells. All right. Um, this it, is Christmas to me. Yeah, it's Festivus. Christmas. It's not your cookies Christmas, but it's some. Yeah, pop. it's not like the gimmicky Christmas holiday no. beer. It's just something that you would like to drink when it gets a little chilly outside. Granted, it's 60 degrees right now here in Chicago, well, but, you know. El Nino. It's, El Nino. <laughs> El Nino. <laughs> Beach El Nino. Well, cheers. cheers. Uh, yeah. Man, it warms you up. Like, it yeah. warms up your mouth. Like, it's just, it almost feels hot in the mouth. Yeah, it's got a, a you know, your typical what you would expect from a style of beer like this where you're looking for dried fruit, dark fruits, stone fruits. But it also has a little bit of roast character uh-huh. uh, that is kind of atypical for this style. And I think kind of cuts some of that sweetness a little bit. Yeah, it's almost like uh, I feel like that's what makes it go good with, with pizza is that like burnt toastiness that maybe you get from the pizza that was in the oven a little too much. That's kind of like complementing the Crusty ends of it. Yeah. I can see that. Uh, but yeah, I think that, that burntness is like the fireplace. It's kind of... It's part of the season. Yeah, and it's uh, it's not uh, a huge rose character. It's just kind of playing in the background. You might overlook it if you're not uh-huh. paying attention. So it's just a like, nice little complimentary flavor that's normally not in this style of beer. That's uh, very much appreciated. Yeah, but the the memories was like a uh, such a smooth, like easy drinking beer. This mm-hmm. is it feels more like a sipping beer. Like you could you're gonna drink this one for a little longer. Fireplace oh, type yeah. of beer, for sure. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Okay. Singing carols. Oh, yeah. Karaoke. Karaoke. At peace. At peace. <laughs> <laughs> was it live band karaoke? Thursday nights. Is this a, is this a pizza ad? <laughs> Where's our check? <laughs> <laughs> we'll take it in pizzas weekly. <laughs> we deliver pizzas to my house weekly. and We'll, we'll just... throw in four Instagrams, too. Yeah. <laughs> Done. <laughs> All right, man. But Festivus, you got to, if you're in Chicago, you got to make it there and try this beer. Absolutely. Like, I'm sorry for everyone who's watching, listening, that can't be in Chicago. It's tough. Yeah. I mean, it's, I mean, again, great time to go to peace. 
pizza's always fantastic. And they've got Festivus, which is a yearly classic now, but also get a chance to try that uh, Firestone collaboration beer. Yeah, and we've talked about doing their like New Year's thing many a times, and just never happened. Mm-hmm. We we often get pizza on New Year's. We do from Peace. Yeah, which is which is all I can eat because we got enough. <laughs> but if you went there, it's like all you can eat pizza and Peace beers. Right. But I'm already doing that. Maybe uh, at my house. Right. right. Win. It's a win-win for me. We get introverted on yeah. New Year's, <laughs> and just uh, we'll party. We'll party right here. Actually, oh, yeah, yeah. Nah, I like it. All right, should we finish this up and then it's time for yeah. feats of strength. It is time for the feats of strength. So, cheers to you. Cheers. Thanks to everyone who's watching, again and again. Merry Festivus. Merry Festivus. 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 And let's rumble.